How did the Earth come into being? Did the impact of asteroids cause it to come into being? How did life form on this planet? Scientists have been looking for answers to these fundamental questions for several years, but they have not yet found a convincing answer to them. According to their evidence and findings on the surface of the Earth, they speculate that there was a time between 4 and 4.5 billion years ago when the Earth was heavily bombarded by meteorites from the solar system, and all minerals such as water and also life have been brought to Earth by them. But unfortunately, these minerals have undergone so many changes over time that it does not give us specific information about the past. For this purpose, the decision to directly analyze the asteroids whose life is about 4 to 4.5 billion and whose soil remains pristine. For this reason, a planned mission called OSIRIS-REx. We have this mission from the beginning to the end for you people to explain. Please to support us, first like the video and subscribe to the channel to benefit from the other content of the channel and be sure to stay until the end of our video. Well, let's get to the point. Just before I explain a very important issue to you, so that you can have a clearer understanding of this mission. Scientists have recognized that the basic element of the formation of life is an element called carbon. Because when you dissect the bodies of living organisms, you see that most of their bodies are composed of carbon. And for this purpose, they were looking for an asteroid whose lifespan is longer than the life of the Earth, and also have an abundance of carbon element. For this reason, they chose the Bennu asteroid. First, because this asteroid had an abundance of the element carbon, and secondly, its lifespan was longer than that of the Earth. And the most important thing is that the ingredients of this asteroid remain completely pristine and unchanged. This asteroid is located at a distance of 330 million kilometers from the Earth in the asteroid belt. For this reason, the OSIRIS-REx project was started. This $800 million project was launched to the asteroid belt on September 8th 2016 and started its two-year journey. The probe approached the asteroid in December 2018. Initially, the probe's mission was to thoroughly analyze the asteroid from a distance of 3.1 miles and provide a comprehensive map of it to NASA scientists so that they can choose the best site to collect samples from this asteroid. This mission lasted for 505 days, then it landed on the Bennu asteroid on October 20th, 2020, a day that all scientists and enthusiasts celebrated and this was called a great victory in the direction of discovering how life formed on Earth. After the successful landing, the arms of the probe began to open and began to collect. After 250 grams of various materials, including carbon and hydrogen, was collected from its surface, it was sent to the Earth by the surviving capsule to be examined and reviewed by scientists, and the spacecraft itself set off to travel to the Apophis asteroid. The estimated time to reach this asteroid has been announced in 2029. It was on the 24th of this year that this capsule reached the ground and was opened by scientists after an hour of cleaning it from the surrounding environment. Of course, I must say that only a quarter of it was available to scientists for study. The rest of it will be kept in completely isolated conditions for future generations until scientists can examine it with more advanced technology. After 10 days, NASA announced that after analyzing this soil, they realized that this soil contained a lot of water and carbon and it is possible that scientists will be able to answer this fundamental question, that is, where life on Earth came from and how it was formed. I and all those interested hope that with the advancement of technology and also further study, we will be able to know our ancestors and realize that from where have we come from and what happened in the beginning caused us to come into existence. Thank you for staying with me until the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and send the video to your friends to support us.